I really want to click that button, make sure it's what it does. Uh, is that gonna be a bad thing? You know, I feel like it's gonna be a bad thing, but I'm gonna click it. Ready? Set. Oh, oh, oh no! Wait! 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 <laughs> Wait! Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Brick Rigs, and today Mr. Random Bob is back, and he's better than ever. So today, we are going to be doing a little bit of survival to begin with. We have probably one of my favorite creations in Brick Rigs in a while. Uh, this is the Enterprise 13, this is a very awesome space station, and you guys have been wanting to see space station survival for a while now. And I think this is the perfect one to do it with. So we've got that. We've got some other crazy creations here today. Uh, they will be linked down in the description if you want to download anything that you see in today's episode. And if you guys have any suggestions for Brick Rigs episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Huh. I wonder where Dob is. Ah, no telling. He's probably just in the space station somewhere. All right, so this space station is the Enterprise 13. This was made by James. I really hope I can stand on this. Okay, let's go. Whoop. Okay. Zero gravity. Okay, we have gravity here. I can touch. Can I walk? Okay, I can walk. All right, so detonate. Why is there a detonate button on this? Uh, is this the door? Hold on. Oh, what was that? Uh-oh, I felt like whatever I just took off might have been important. I don't know. All right, so, you know, I guess we just have to warp through the door here. So we're going to go up and, ooh, be careful. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, ho, ho. so this thing's got some features in it. It's got like a fire suppression system. I mean, this is probably the biggest space station that I've seen in the game. I, I think there is a, a couple bigger ones, but for the brick count, it's only 1,600 bricks. Like, you could spawn this in multiplayer. Uh, let's see. Oh, is that a laser wall? I don't think we should click that. Hold on. Let's go wandering around. You know, if I had a suggestion for brick rigs and something that they really need, Bob needs a flashlight. That would be really good. Uh, what's his button do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I think we're starting space station survival early. What was that button? What was that? Uh, all right, click it again. Does it? Oh, uh, wait. What happened? Uh, does the space station have an implode button? Oh no, Dob is in here somewhere, Han. Oh, come on. Wait, how do we survive that? Han, let's check. I wasn't expecting to do this yet, but I guess we're in survival mode. All right, so there's the HUD. You see 100% health. Okay, gotta watch what I bounce off of here. Ooh, okay, so I don't think it's on fire, but what happened? How did this thing just separate itself? Han, let's try to get through here. Uh, don't bounce against the wall too hard. I'm really surprised that initial impact didn't kill us, huh? I can actually almost walk up this. Oh, this is painful. Zero gravity. What happened? Okay, so the lights aren't going off. I think that's the uh, the fire suppression or the fire warning. Uh, oh, boy. You know, I think Dob is in here somewhere. Oh, no, no, no. I just died. Dang it. I died because the side... Oh, it's still moving, too. All right. You know what? We might need to reset this. Where is... Uh-oh. Uh, how did that piece come off? What is that button exactly? I, I need to go back and read again. <laughs> oh, there is a floating Bob. He's just floating away in space. He's a, a little on the dead side. Don't mind him. All right, so no to self. Do not click that button yet, even though I don't know what it is. Is that another button? No, it's just another warning button. Okay, so it looks like we are in some sort of control center and... Hey, there's Dub! Dub, what are you doing? What are you doing out there? He's slowly floating away. Ah, right, well, you just have fun. Um, okay, it looks like a kitchen area. All right, let's go around here. There's like a central control, which I think it's up here. Oh, you know what? See these detonate signs? That is actually what detaches these pods. So that button I clicked back here, or back there, I'm assuming this is the same switch. So if I hit that, I think it ejects this front part. Oh, so you'd want to, in theory, can I seal this door? Oh, that is so neat. All right, so that might be a means of escape. See, this thing's burning down with us in it. Uh, maybe that's the way we get out of here. I am a bit worried about the uh, the scalable bricks and it killing uh, Bob in random ways if we try this survival, but I think it's worth the attempt. I believe we've 
pretty much gone through it. This thing looks so cool. Like, I just absolutely, like, I love these colors here. Like, it's just these little light lines that are going up and down the halls. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in Brick Rigs. Okay, so we're good, I, I think. Uh, let's go ahead. I really want to click that button, make sure it's what it does. Uh, is that going to be a bad thing? You know, I feel like it's going to be a bad thing, but I'm going to click it. Ready? Uh. Oh, oh, oh no. Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait. Wait. Okay, so it's got a fire system. This thing's already built for survival. It just caught itself on fire. Look at that. So you have to get over to... Oh, that is loud. I guess you have to get over here to eject it. Dude, this might be one of the coolest things we've played with in a while. Hold on. All right, so I've got a little plant. Where did Dob go? I see his seat. Oh, there he goes. He's just... Uh, He's floating that way. Okay, so the plan is hit the fire button, which I'm assuming the eruption, it happens, or the failure happens over here. So we'll have to make our way over to the escape button here. And then we need to make our way out. So that is the plan for survival. This is actually, uh, I like this setup. I think this is going to work. Okay, so can Bob make it? All right, so I'm going to leave my HUD up so you see I'm at 100%. Heck, we don't even have to run anything into this, which I'm still going to do here in a minute, but I want to do it the normal way first. All right, get ready for that fire alarm. That thing is loud. All right, here we go. Better hold on. Okay, stand in the middle here. Okay, it is moving right now. Okay, so everything's on fire. Oh, the hall's on fire. Okay, so it's tilting sideways. We need to hurry up. Try not to hit the walls. Uh, that seems to kill us. All right. Uh... Oh, oh, there was an extra explosion. Over... What? Something just... What are all these pieces? Wait, there's a lot of stuff flying by. Okay. Uh, I don't wonder if some of these things are timed. Okay, slowly walk forward. Don't hit the walls, because that'll kill you. Okay, here we go. Oh, this thing is being charred. This is so cool. Ah, we're going down. <laughs> okay. Do I want to click this button? Wait, where did this part go? Uh, on. Uh. Where is the true escape? Oh, that hall is on fire. Okay, so Bob probably would have been sucked out the side of this thing, but you know what? We're good. Come on, go this way. Okay, we're going to click this again. Don't kill me instantly. Don't kill me instantly. Boom. Ooh, okay, hold on. Hold on to it. Oh, the whole thing is moving right now. Okay, uh, let's try to walk up this way. Uh, what does that button really do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, all the stuff's going to the ceiling. Oh, we're floating. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't hit the ceiling. I don't hit this part. Okay, on, uh, stay off the walls. Okay, can we find a way? On, uh, go this way. Go this way. Okay, we need to escape. No, no, go down. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here because I'm gonna hit the wall. I'm gonna die because I'm gonna hit the wall. Okay, go down. Come on, survival, Bob. You got this. Uh, we're com completely aimed up. Oh, you can still see it's burning right now. What is the point of that second button? I need to check see if there's any other buttons on here. Oh, we might be able to get out now. Okay, we're going this way. Looks like. Okay, there's still a window there. It's not cracked open. Okay, so on slow momentum here. Uh, you want to go that way? I want to go. There's the opening. Ah, come on. Get to the opening. Oh, man. This is so cool. Wait, is that an opening? No, that's another hallway. Wait, we're on. Okay. Can I can I walk here now? Hold on. Okay, I'm getting my balance again. Oh, man. I can't. I, oh, I couldn't get any forward momentum there. The thing is just so hard. Like, I almost say that the controls need to be a little bit different for the uh, for Bob floating around in space because it's really hard to get his momentum up. All right, was there, a, was there any other buttons we could have hit? Like, look at this. All this is collapsed. Man, that is insane. What is the... Uh, is the, the pod still attached? No, it isn't. It actually... Yeah, you can see where it's separated. Yeah, that pod's slowly sliding out. That is cool. It's pretty hard to do, but if you guys want a really good survival challenge, maybe go into this. Uh, maybe even do it in multiplayer. Okay, so we pretty much figured out that portion of it. Let's go to. Uh, let's go ahead and get back into it here, and we're gonna throw something at it and see how it blows up. All right, so I'm pretty sure we're not gonna survive the next thing. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna run a space shuttle into the bottom of the space station we're gonna see what happens now there is some explosives 
uh, on the space station. I'm assuming it's how the fire starts. So, yeah, this is going to be a thing. Uh, we're probably going to slow this down. Let's go ahead and watch the impact first. Okay, here we go. I think Dobbs up there somewhere. Uh, let's go alt mode and... Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be cool. Uh-oh. Uh, wait, this thing might miss, actually. Hold on. Here it goes. This is probably going to freeze the game. Let's get up here and... Oh, what? Wait, what? Wait, are you serious? That didn't explode? Okay, Han. Let's go full speed. What is going on? <gasps> oh, uh, there goes the rocket. Um, okay. Well, that didn't have the intended result, did it? Yeah, there would be no way we'd be able to survive that. Uh, with those scalables, it would probably knock us into uh, oblivion. All right, so we have a bit of encouragement for the uh, space station now. Let's go ahead and go alt mode. Ooh. Uh oh, okay. There it goes. It's moving. Oh, there it goes. Wait. You know, that still actually didn't blow up that big. You know, this... Oh, never mind. N never mind. There it goes. You know, there was a Dob here somewhere. He's, uh, he's probably exploded. That is a very cool creation. Uh, the survival mode in it is almost more exciting than running something into it. Like, having that fire spread and trying to escape, that's actually really cool. I'd like to see more creations like that. Uh, very detailed. But, you know what? I think it's probably time that me and Dob get back down to Earth. Because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Dob's pretty sick with zero gravity here. Alright, so we are back in this city here, and I'm pretty sure Dob's not going to be too impressed with this creation here. This is the Dob car. This was made by Teemo Strategy, and yeah, there's not much to say about this, except for it's Dob with the hollow chest uh, that Bob sets into, and they attached uh, lights to the top of his head. This is actually really cool. Uh, mildly inappropriate for a uh, Dob, but I have to say I like this a whole lot, and I think we'll be using this. Uh, I'm not sure uh, Dob wants to see it, but you know what? It's fine. So anyways, uh, you see something in the background here, and that is basically called the Mega Saul, which we really haven't played with Saul creations too much. Uh, no, we're not sawing the Dob car. I, I can't. I couldn't do that to Dob. But check this thing out. Now, let me go ahead and go to the seat here. It's the Saul of Obliteration. Uh, yeah, this thing, let me, uh, let's just set here and I'll show you guys kind of what it does. So this thing's got four Sauls in it and I'm assuming you just pretty much chop everything up. I don't know, I don't know if I've actually really played with the Saul creation before. I mean, I think down the road we have somewheres, but this thing looks very deadly. So, you know, we're gonna probably saw a building in half for sure but I also have something else that we can saw in half and I think you guys are gonna enjoy this it is everybody's favorite laggy dude it is ragdoll Rob so let's go ahead and swap back over here I feel like this is gonna be really cruel actually is he quite I don't know if he's quite under it huh let's go get that out of the way so if the saws going like that oh boy okay let's see if we can get him here with this first little hit uh, that, oh, you are, so, oh, <laughs> we just punched him forward. Uh, uh, oh, I think we're sawing into his butt. <gasps> oh, wait, did, that was really pretty clean of a cut. Hold the phone. Are you telling me we can probably saw a building in half? Let's go ahead and make these go all the way up. And then we need to place him a lot closer. Man, this might actually work, folks. Uh, hold on, let's get Mr. Uh, Ragdoll Rob, which, by the way, I can't help that he's this laggy. It's just the way he is. He's born that way. So let's go ahead and put him back here. There we go. All right, here we go. The saws are back on, and they are coming down. So let's get into the camera angle here. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, is he actually going to saw him right down the... Wow, that is a heavy saw. We just cut him right down the middle. That is, uh, that's actually kind of cruel looking. What in the heck? Let's go full speed. Uh, okay, ceasefire, and... <laughs> you know, I always thought the, uh, the smashing episode we did with Rob where we smashed him with a big, like, uh, heavy cube was pretty bad, but that's actually terrible looking. Han, 
let's chop his feet off. Okay, so it's on, so I think it's, okay, so let's kind of swing it outward. All right, let's go and put it in slow-mo, that way I can get my free cam here. All right, so here it comes. Here comes the saw. Oh, it's gonna hit right into his foot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, it might go over it. Is it gonna go over it? Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Uh-oh, oh, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna fall on it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's starting to cut now, there it goes. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so it just cut inward. Hold on, I think we need to shift it back. Uh, hold on, make it go back that way. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> uh oh, oh, this is gonna be, oh, that is, oop, yep. We might need to like, put like a kitten or something over that. That is, uh, that is mildly inappropriate for brick rigs. Hold on, let's swing it back, <laughs> let's swing it. Oh! <laughs> We just swung it through. Okay, so we know the saw works. So could we make this into some sort of survival? It couldn't be a really tall tower. Han, okay, so let's remove Mr. Laggy Rob here. Uh, your job's done, Rob. That'll do. Oh, actually, I'm riding on it right now. This is kind of awkward. Okay, hold on, let's jump off. All right, so I've got a creation called the Eclipsed Towers. I think I can position this one under the saw. Uh, it's gonna be pretty close, huh? Let's go ahead, let's move these upward. There we go. I kinda wish there was two creations. I kinda wish there was the vertical saw, and then the one that's sideways. Hold on, let's see if we can actually fit this under here. I'm hoping we can. Uh, oh, it looks like it does. It's not exactly halfway, I don't think. Actually, it might be. Uh, that's, that's gonna be pretty close. So, in theory, we can just saw this thing. Can we switch and stand in it, though? Like, this thing kind of looks like it's set up for tower survival. Uh, I can't tell if those are scalable or not. We'll see what happens here. So, slow it down. Okay, here comes the, the saw. No, okay, here they come. All right, so it's gonna cut through. This is gonna be satisfying. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay, there is some scalables. It's actually, they're not big, though. Oh, that's going all the way. Oh, are you kidding me? We have something that can cut towers. Man, if this thing was, like, really tall, could you imagine? Hold on, it's still going, still going. What would it be like being on the inside? Of, oh, that is insane looking. Oh, I, you know what? I, I feel like we're going to be using the saw a little bit more. Uh, at some point, huh? Let's let it go all the way through real quick. It's freezing a little bit. Oh, that is so cool! Look at that! That is a pretty clean cut, too. Well, I would say clean-ish. That was a pretty decent cut. Oh, boy. Okay, so that has been cleaned. Hold on, let's go ahead. Oh, I need to get out of free cam. Can the other soul reach it? No, I think it's gonna stop short here. Uh, let's see, does it pivot all the way? Is it full 360? No, it stops right there. Dang it. I thought maybe we'd be able to cut that. Okay, let's go ahead and get the saws out of there. There we go. All right, inspect the damage. Look how clean that looks. Like, you can see exactly where it went through. It didn't actually go off course that much. It's being weighed down by, like, a huge cube. And I think that's really doing it a lot of favors as far as the blades moving, especially when cutting through something big like this. That is pretty amazing. I like that a lot. Hmm. Hmm. If you guys have any suggestions for that, let me know. All right, so I have a couple more creations to check out this episode. If you see your creation on here, it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna check it out. It's just, uh, these are more random creations. So we have the Fortnite Floating Island by Banana Man 27 And honestly, I'm not really a huge Fortnite fan. Uh, I've seen it, I've played it a little bit. I'm not, like, huge on it, but... I really do want to blow this thing up because it looks really cool and I like the way uh, it floats and it actually like hovers in air. So obviously we've got to knock it out. Now I've got several options to knock it out and I think we're going to use something big here. So Magic Mushroom has created three bombs. You've got the boom, the big boom, the big bada boom. So these are nuke field explosives. Uh, they have 512 1024 and 2048 explosive canisters of C4. Now, there is a warning about these about crashing the game. So, we're going to start off with the boom here. So, let's go ahead and spawn it. Now, oh, 
well, I did have the floating, uh, the floating island was working, so let's, <laughs> I was gonna check the floating island out. Ooh, it has been devastated. Hold on, let's go ahead and respawn the floating island, we'll drop the bomb on it. So, let's go ahead and go boom. Okay, so the Fortnite floating island is a go here. Okay, is it losing altitude? No, it's climbing now. Okay, so we're good. Not quite as stable as Bob would like it, but... Wait, can I actually walk... Oh, I can walk around on it. This is a weird-looking little island. What is the cube down there? Yeah, I'm so unfamiliar with Fortnite. I have no clue what the cube is. But, uh, yeah, there's a cube down there. But, uh, we're gonna see what happens when we explode this. Now, we'll probably have to test this bomb out on a tower, too, because this looks like a bunch of scalables, so it might not be that epic, but... I wanted something with a smooth frame rate, so we're gonna test this first. All right, floating island, it is time to be taken out by the bomb. Uh, it is swaying, hold on, let's gonna sway back this way. Here we go. Uh, does that look like a confirmed drop? Yes, it does, uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> dude, it just dodged it. No, Bob, you're supposed to actually hit that. Hold on, let's go up here again. Oh, that was a nice little puff of smoke down there. It wasn't too bad. I didn't get any lag, so maybe this bomb will be okay. Okay, let's go ahead and go... You know what? Dang it. We're gonna drop... Get close to it. Here we go. Get close to it. Is that close enough? Uh, actually, I think it is. I think it's gonna come right back in its path. Alright, here we go... <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh. 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 Why did that lag harder that time? Hold on. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, folks, we're gonna hit it this time. That's actually a really cool looking bomb. Alright, here it comes. This might lag. Uh oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh! <gasps> Wait! It didn't go off! Uh why did it not Oh jeez. Oh. Oh. Well, there goes the uh the floating island. Okay, so floating islands inside. I think the other bomb needs to hit something a bit more solid, so we're just gonna drop this thing on it. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. This is for sure gonna work. All right, here we go. Say goodbye to the floating island. Are you serious? Yep, that just happened. Some might say I have kind of a poor aim here. Here we go. Yes, <laughs> we finally got it. Are you serious? Is it still gonna, oh, never mind. I thought it was gonna still float there. That is pretty cool. I have no use for a Fortnite island except for really to blow it up, but that was awesome. So, real quick, let's go over to this. Let's remove all. So, we've got this nuke over here. Let's spawn a tower in and see if we can get it to go off. You know what, Bob's no wuss. He's gonna go with the big bada boom. So here we go, this is the big boy. This is 2,000 bricks. How in the heck? Oh, I think it just went off. Uh, backspace? <laughs> backspace? <laughs> uh, God mode. What in the heck is this thing loaded with? Hold on, okay, let's drop this. <laughs> Oh, I love random creations. Okay, let's go out of god mode. Should we do this in slow-mo? I guess not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a mistake. What? Is there such thing as too powerful of an explosion for the game? Are you serious? I'm gonna have to talk to Magic Mushroom. These things are, uh, there's something to these. Uh, all right, let's drop it again. Let's drop it directly on it. So let's go boom, out of god mode. All right, that, uh, oh, there it goes. Hmm. I feel like there's something to this. Okay, so apparently this bomb doesn't always set off. I think we need to do this in the city. Uh, there's like a nitro tank on the end of it, and I think it's maybe that little circle, and that doesn't always go off, so... We're gonna drop it. I've seen it go off once on the other one, and... Did it just... Uh oh Uh-oh. Uh oh! <laughs> There's your fatal error. <laughs> well, Magic Mushroom delivered. It, it does work as promised. We just crashed Brick Ricks. 
Oh, boy. You know what? I think that's a sign. How did we get back out to this menu? This is where Dob was at the beginning. Okay. You know what? That's going to wrap it up for this episode of Brick Riggs. Hopefully you enjoyed this random episode with a bit of survival in it. I've got a repeating noise that's getting annoying. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> and we will see you guys next time. Oh, boy. That was great.